Hey, we're here at the San Francisco Tennis Club with the winner of the National Memory Championships of the United States, Chester Santos. He's gonna teach us some tips and tricks on how you can improve your memory for random words and numbers, including techniques known as the body list and the journey. Hey Chester, we want you to show off your memory skills, uh, but first, why are we at the San Francisco Tennis Club? Um, we're at the San Francisco Tennis Club because I use the tennis club uh, and portions of it as different mental journeys. I have about three different journeys uh, that I walk through within the tennis club, and I, I use those journeys to remind me of what I want to remember. I link images that are associated with the material that I want to remember. I link those images to locations within the tennis club in my mind. So Chester, you've had about three minutes to look at these cards. It looks like it's maybe about 20, 25 cards, and you think you've got them memorized? I think so, yeah. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna, you're gonna call this card, and I'm gonna flip it over. All right, uh, three diamonds, 10 of clubs, two of clubs, 10 of hearts, queen of spades, seven of diamonds, 10 of diamonds, king of hearts, jack of clubs, Got it. Um, two of spades, ace of hearts, ace of spades, two of diamonds, queen of hearts, six of hearts, uh, nine of spades, seven of clubs, five of hearts, uh, seven of spades, ace of diamonds, seven of hearts, uh, six of spades, Eight of clubs. Last one. And jack of spades. Ah, you did it. So what I've done here is I've written down 10 random words. And I'm going to give you one minute to memorize them. With um, no help, no, with no, no strategy. With no help, no strategy. Okay. Um, and we'll see how many you can get in the correct order. Okay, Apple, watch, umbrella, stapler, car. So you got up to the third word. Yes. <laughs> All right, got up to the third word, that's not bad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to guide you through mm -hmm. this list um, in about one or two minutes. Okay. All right? So what I want you to do is with your left, imagine that with your left foot, okay. your left foot, you're smashing a giant apple into a bunch of applesauce, okay? Okay. You're smashing it and it's smashing now, it. now it's turning into applesauce, okay? Okay. Now, on your right foot, mm -hmm. you have a watch, uh -huh. a, a wrist watch, wrapped around your right foot, okay? And you can hear the loud ticking. I want you to imagine okay, that you can I'm hear the, ticking. the loud ticking. ticking, and all of a sudden an alarm goes off in the okay. watch, all right? Okay. All right? Imagine that, okay? Now, imagine that, attached mm -hmm. to your knees, is an umbrella, all right? <laughs> and you put, you push on the button, you push on the button and the umbrella opens up. And okay. it splashes all this water all over your face. Okay. Next, you have a tennis racket lodged into the side of your waist, okay? Okay. Now, you hear a noise coming from inside of your belly button, okay? Uh-huh. It's like a, an oh, engine. God. It's what an is engine, that? right? Yeah. It's an engine. And this race car just shoots out of your belly button. <laughs> And you can see the tires spinning, right? Okay, all right. All right. Then you have um, a giant basketball, okay? And it keeps on hitting you in your chest. Just, just a boom, giant. Boom, boom, boom. It giant. keeps on hitting you in your chest, okay. right? Then now what you have attached to your neck, you have no reason why, but you're feeling here and there's something there and you're pulling at it and it, and it kind of comes out and you okay. see it's a desk. Oh my God, it's what's a desk, desk doing it's in my neck? It's a desk doing okay. in your neck. And you're like, <laughs> I don't need a desk here. Why? Okay. What's, what's it doing there? I got it. Now you, you, you feel a pain in your mouth. You uh -huh. feel a pain in your mouth. Uh -huh. You open up your mouth and there's an earring in your tongue. Then next, I want you to imagine that a stapler is stapling your nose together. Both the nostrils Both are stapled oh. together now. Okay. All right. a stapler, okay? okay? Stapler's continually stapling them okay. together, right? <laughs> and then on the top of your head, you have a you have a giant comb and you're combing your hair and as you're combing Which your I hair don't. something's okay. wrong with this something's wrong with the comb because as you're combing your hair a bunch of hair is getting pulled out of your 
pulling okay, out, pulling out, out a bunch of. Hand. Okay. All right. all right. I actually think you could see all of that in your mind, right? Yeah. I think I've got it. So here we go. The first word is apple. The second word is watch. The third word is umbrella. The fourth word is racket. The fifth word is car. The next word is ball. The next word is a desk. The word after that is earring, stapler. Got and it. the last one is comb. You got it. There it Great is, job. all 10 in a row. You got it. Yes. Great job. Perfect. That was awesome. Perfect. That works. We just did some mental athletic training with Chester Santos, who has the best memory in the United States. Some of his techniques stretch all the way back to the ancient Greeks. But what's amazing is that standing in front of you as a modern human being, I can still feel those techniques reprogramming my brain to remember things better.